This week we got a futuristic pattern for you and I am really excited to show you how this works. The European Aeronautic Defence and Space Company has patented a revolutionary aircraft that leaves every other supersonic jet far behind. At a cruising speed of Mach 4.5, it puts even the fastest Concorde to shame. And the sonic boom created by this aircraft is surprisingly less than that of the Concorde. Let's take a closer look to see how it accomplishes these remarkable feats. The aircraft is equipped with two ramjets under its delta wings, a pair of turbojets under the front part of the fuselage and a rocket engine at the rear end of the fuselage. The turbojets are used for propelling the aircraft during taxiing and takeoff. The passengers and the crew are placed in hammocks for improved comfort. Once the aircraft climbs to a certain altitude, the turbojets are retracted into the fuselage. At this point, the rocket engine is ignited at full power, causing the aircraft to travel vertically like a rocket at supersonic speeds. Because of this vertical trajectory, the energy of the supersonic beam is dissipated in all horizontal radial directions and it does not encounter the ground. The ingenuity that makes higher supersonic speeds possible lies in the pair of fins situated on the outer ends of the delta wings. At speeds less than Mach 1, these fins are oriented horizontally. However, once the speed exceeds Mach 1, the fins are oriented vertically. This causes the center of pressure to be maintained at the same point and thus providing greater stability. After reaching a very high altitude, the aircraft curves into a horizontal trajectory at which point the rocket engine is powered off and closed by a door to make it streamlined. The ramjets are then ignited and the aircraft is propelled horizontally at supersonic speeds. At 4.5 Mach, you can reach from London to New York in one hour. Currently, it takes a 7 hours flight. The flight path of this aircraft technically makes it the highest roller coaster in the world. Let me know in the comments below how many of you would consider a roller coaster ride while traveling around the world.